I've always found that my best outdoor product photography happens when it's overcast out. And since I happen to have the perfect environment right now, with very gray skies, I'm gonna go to the shop and take a photograph of a new watch that I got into inventory. A Rolex GMT Master II with a Pepsi bezel insert. So since it has that red and blue bezel insert and I'm wearing a blue hoodie, I think the situation's gonna be perfect for taking a couple of snaps. I'm just gonna be using my iPhone XS Max. I've picked out a spot right in front of the store, nice little green bush behind it. I'll stand right there, pop my hand in my pocket. I have a personal preference for on-body shots that show something other than just the wrist. So by incorporating my pants and the shirt and the wrist all in that same photograph, I think there's gonna provide enough texture and visual differentiation from the watch that will be able to get a little bit more exciting and dynamic photo than just a straight up wrist shot like this. One of the things I like to do just to make sure that I'm getting as clean of a shot as possible so that I don't have to edit it after the fact is clean the crystal of the watch with a lens cloth. And since I have some compressed air here, I like to hit it with a little spray of that so that I can get any dust particles that may be on the crystal removed. I also like to set the watch to 1010. In this case, there's a forehand watch, so I try to get the GMT hand away from the 10 o'clock hand, and I try to have the seconds when I actually take the photograph, I try to have the seconds somewhere not overlapping one of the other hands. So I'm ready to take my photo. I'm wearing my blue hoodie because I wanna pick up some of the blue that's in the bezel insert on this GMT Master II with the Pepsi insert. It's faded to a really nice pink tone, so I think that's gonna contrast real well against the dark color of the hoodie and, and the sort of camouflage color of my pants. I'm tucking my hand relatively far inside of my pants and I'm bunching up my sweatshirt. I'm trying to create as much texture as I can in the photograph. Now there's gonna be a lot of texture also in the background of the photograph with the green of the bushes here and obviously the brown of the tree as well. I'm standing in a way that I'm getting part of that tree and part of the bushes on the shot. Now if I just take a photograph right here, I'm gonna have a really bad reflection on the crystal. This particular crystal is a sapphire crystal and it's flat. So I'm not trying to pick up reflection, I'm actually trying to get a very black dial. So I'm gonna kind of contort my body and move the camera until I get the perfect shot. Once I've got that good setup, I'm gonna take a few at slightly different angles, take a few different picks, just in case it's out of focus. So if you notice there, I moved the camera slightly in and out. By doing that, I'm able to hopefully <laughs> get a good shot. Not everything works on the first try. It's okay, it doesn't cost you any more to take an extra three or four photos, so you might as well do it. Now we're gonna take the watch off, go back into the store, plug the phone into the computer, download the photos and see what we got. Hopefully one will work. All right, now we're gonna plug the phone right back into the computer and we're going to download some pics. After I've imported the photos onto my Mac, I'll do any necessary editing. Typically that's gonna involve removing more dust particles that I may have missed initially, uh, and I use the healing brush tool in the Photos app to do that. I also always crop my images to get uh, a more direct focus on the actual product that I'm photographing. Aside from that, not too much is done. Sometimes I have to adjust the brightness or the contrast. But in general, if you take a good photo to begin with, you don't have to worry about so much uh, in post-production. So that's basically it. That's my, that's my methodology. If this video inspired you to go out and take some new photos, uh, please tag me on Instagram so I can see what you're up to. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Not all of the content that I put on the channel is gonna have to do with photography. I you know, have broad, diverse uh, interests, and so you're gonna see things about watches, and you'll see things about cars, and you'll see things about bicycles, and maybe just about running my business. So, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you soon.